Hello friends, Ms. Tubbs here. I have a very special book to share with you today. This book is called Wilfred Gordon McDonald Partridge. I just love this book. So this little boy, that's his name, Wilfred Gordon McDonald Partridge. And um, in this book, he hears a word that he's never heard before. He hears the word memory. And so he goes about asking people, well, what's a memory? And they give him different answers depending on whether their memories are happy or sad and how they think of that word memory um, as he's trying to figure out what that means. All right, let's read about Wilfred Gordon, McDonald Partridge. Um, this book was written by Mem Fox and illustrated by Julie Vivas. There was once a small boy called Wilfred Gordon McDonald Partridge. And what's more, he wasn't very old either. His house was next door to an old people's home and he knew all the people who lived there. He liked Mrs. Jordan who played the organ. He listened to Mr. Hosking who told him scary stories. He played Pippet. Oh no, he played with Mr. Tippett, who was crazy about cricket. He ran errands for Miss Mitchell, who walked with a wooden stick. He admired Mr. Drysdale, who had a voice like a giant. But his favorite person of all was Miss Nancy Allison Delacourt Cooper, because she had four names just as he did. He called her Miss Nancy and told her all of his secrets. One day, Wilfred Gordon heard his mother and father talking about Miss Nancy. Poor old thing, said his mother. Why is she a poor old thing? asked Wilfred Gordon. Because she's lost her memory, said his father. It isn't surprising, said his mother. After all, she is 96. What's a memory? asked Wilfred Gordon. He was always asking questions. It is something you remember, said his father. But Wilfred Gordon wanted to know more. So he called on Miss Jordan, who played the organ. What's a memory, he asked. Something warm, my child, something warm. He called on Mr. Hosking, who told him scary stories. What's a memory, he asked. Something from long ago, me lad. Something from long ago. He called on Mr. Tippett, who was crazy about cricket. What's a memory, he asked. Something that makes you cry, my boy. Something that makes you cry. He called on Miss Mitchell, who walked with a wooden stick. What's a memory, he asked. Something that makes you laugh, my darling. Something that makes you laugh. See how very different their answers are? He called on Mr. Drysdale, who had a voice like a giant. What's a memory, he asked. Something as precious as gold, young man. Something as precious as gold. So Wilfred Gordon went home again to look for memories or Miss Nancy, because she had lost her own. Does it sound like he understands what a memory is? If he's looking for them? <laughs> he looked for the shoebox of shells he had found long ago last summer and put them gently into, in a basket. He found the puppet on strings, which always made everyone laugh, and put that in the basket too. He remembered with sadness the medal which his grandfather had given him and placed it gently next to the shells. Next, he found his football, which was as precious as gold. And last of all, on his way to Miss Nancy, he went into the hen house and took a fresh, warm egg from under a hen. I lost my page. <laughs> ah, here we go. Then, Mitt, then Wilfred Gordon called on Miss Nancy and gave her each thing one by one.
What a dear, strange child to bring me all these wonderful things, thought Miss Nancy. Then she started to remember. She held the warm egg and told Wilfred Gordon about the tiny speckled blue egg she had once found in a bird's nest in her aunt's garden. She put a shell to her ear and remembered going to the beach by tram long ago and how she had felt in her button-up boots. So that must be a young Miss Nancy putting her feet in the sand. She touched the metal and talked sadly of the big brother she had loved who had gone to war and never returned. She smiled at the puppet on strings and remembered the one she had shown to her sister and how she had laughed with a mouthful of porridge. So that must be Miss Nancy and her little sister in her memory. She bounced the football to Wilfred Gordon and remembered the day she had met him and all the secrets they had told. And the two of them smiled and smiled because Miss Nancy's memory had been found again by a small boy who wasn't very old either. And that is the end of Wilfred Gordon MacDonald Partridge. So friends, again, take that time to retell this story to somebody. What, help, what happens to Wilfred Gordon? And if you don't remember, you can just watch the video again. Thank you. Have a great day.